Unilink MWN WAPR300N and 300NE can be used to extend any wireless signal. However, before you use this solution to extend wireless throughout your home, you should consider whether you need to access network devices, such as a network printer or a media server. If you do, then you should check out our other video titled Wired Router to Router Setup. If you're just looking to extend the internet access throughout your home to a wider area, then this range extender option is good for you. First, connect a computer to the second router via Ethernet using the included cable to one of the yellow LAN ports on the router. Then connect the router's power supply to the router and then to an electrical outlet. On your computer, open an internet browser such as Google Chrome. You do not need to have internet access to complete this step. Just go ahead and type in the IP address of the router, which is by default 192.168.8.1, then hit enter. Next, type the username and password. By default, they're both admin, all lowercase. Click apply. Next, click advanced settings. And you'll want to check the firmware version first. Under system status, the firmware version will be displayed. Version 5.07.50 is the latest version for MWN WAPR 300N, and version 5.07.51 is the latest version for MWN WAPR 300NE. If your router is up to date, then you can continue on with this video. If it's not up to date, we suggest that you upgrade the firmware first or else these steps will not be entirely accurate. For help upgrading your firmware, see our firmware installation video. If you are extending the signal of any other MediaLink router, then you'll want to change the IP address of this router. You can skip this step if you're extending the signal of any other brand router, but it's safe to do this step even if you're not sure what brand you're using for your primary. To change the IP address, first click LAN settings. Then replace the 192.168.8.1 with 192.168.9.1. Click Apply, and then click OK to reboot the router. Once the router is finished rebooting, it'll prompt you to log back in. If it doesn't prompt you to log back in, change the yellow port that the computer is plugged into on the router. Then log in by typing in the username and password, which by default are admin, all lowercase. Then you may continue with the setup. First click Advanced Settings, then click Range Extender Setup, and select Enable. Click Find Your Existing Network at the bottom of the page. A list of available networks will then appear at the bottom. Find yours in the list, which is the primary router, and select it, and then click OK. Scroll up and enter the key or password of the primary router. This information can be found in the primary router settings. Scroll down to click Apply, and the router will begin to reboot. The name of the wireless network and the password will automatically be set to be the same on both routers. This way, as you walk throughout the home, your devices will automatically connect to the strongest signal. When the router is finished rebooting, it will then be connected to the primary router. Once you have confirmed internet access through the extender, unplug the power and the ethernet so as to relocate the router. The best placement is about halfway between where your primary router is located and where you ultimately want the signal to reach in your home. The best way to test if it is a good placement is if you can stand in that location with a wireless device like a laptop or a tablet and get a good signal from the first router, then that's a good place for the second router. If you can't, then you should relocate closer to the first router. Once you have moved the router to where you want it to be, plug in the power only. Then test the internet through a wired connection to the second router. If you cannot access the internet, make sure it is not too far from the primary router. Please note that when using this router as a range extender, Devices that connect to this range extender will be able to access all the devices in your network. However, devices that connect to your primary router will not be able to access devices that are connected to the range extender. In this example, we have three items connected to the primary router, a networked printer, a desktop, and a laptop. 
and we have three items connected to the range extender, a desktop, a laptop, and a media server. In this example, Laptop 2 and Desktop 2 will be able to access every other device on the network, including the networked printer, Desktop 1 and Laptop 1, the media server, and each other. However, neither Desktop 1 nor Laptop 1 will be able to access Desktop 2, Laptop 2, or the media server. If you have decided that you'd rather have full access to all the devices in your network, or that speed is an issue using this wireless range extender setup, then you may want to try our wired router-to-router -router setup instead. If running an Ethernet cable throughout your home is not possible or something you'd rather not do, then you may want to use power line adapters. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that, please see our video titled Wired Router-to-Router -router Setup. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for choosing MediaBridge.